Hi, John Hartman here in my LaFontaine studio to talk to you about uh, one of the authors that I painted for the exhibition and book Many Lives Mark This Place. So there were 32 uh, Canadian authors painted in the landscapes that uh, inspire them. And today I'd like to talk to you about uh, Catherine Gobier. When I was um, uh, figuring out how how to paint Catherine's portrait and talking to her about places that inspired her. Uh, she was interested in having me uh, paint the landscape near Canmore, Banff, Alberta. Catherine had grown up in Calgary and she uh, spent a lot of time, as many Calgarians do, going into the mountains when she had free time skiing at places like Sunshine Village and just generally enjoying um, the kind of uniqueness of mountain culture that exists in that area. Uh, and as I was painting her portrait, I was reading a book of hers, The Three Sisters Bar and Hotel. And in this book, uh, Catherine um, brings together uh, two uh, fictional threads. Um, one is uh, a uh, a geologic exploration, a fossil hunting exploration that got lost in 1911 and the events that surround the disappearance of this party. And the other is uh, the sort of disposition or the fam a family passing on a local hotel in, um, uh, the, you know, in the real town of Canmore, in her fictional town of um, uh, Gateway. Uh, and it's uh, called the Three Sisters uh, Bar and Hotel, not named after the Three Sisters specifically, but these Three Sisters, which are the three mountains that sit just to the east of Canmore. So, but these Three Sisters uh, are fi trying to figure out what to do with the family hotel, and their story it, it is seen in hindsight, and as we move back in time, it intersects with the story of the lost party. Now, um, uh, I had the sense when um, I, I read the book and when I talked to Catherine that um, she was a person who had her ear very attuned to the history of mountain culture in Banff. And it's, it's one of the truths of uh, spending time in the mountains is that they immediately are awe-inspiring. Every time I drive my car from, from Banff through the mountains and the Kicking Horse Pass to Golden, I take about 100 photographs because it's just every time you go around the corner, there's something that's breathtaking. But in reality, to really um, come to know the mountains uh, properly and to get to the point where you can uh, at least begin to move through them with some kind of understanding about what's going on. You really need to uh, uh, understand not the big view, but the, the smaller bits of information, sort of what's the information that's there at your feet. So if you're a skier, you have to know by understanding snow and temperature conditions and snowpack conditions, whether there's a chance that a slope will release in an avalanche and bury you. And that's true for sort of almost any activity you're doing in the mountains. And so when I painted Catherine, and this is the portrait of her that I painted here, uh, I have this hand sitting behind her uh, ear, a cupped hand. And it's really just saying that, that I get the sense that she's a person that, uh, that that listens, that is aware of these small details and that specifically has listened to the stories that bubble up from the Banff Canmore area. And there are stories about uh, Jimmy Simpson, uh, the famous guide who I've painted here, who is a character with a different name in her book, and Mary Vo Walcott here, who was uh, an American heiress and one of the uh, great uh, large format uh, photographers of the uh, glaciers uh, back at the um, in the late 18, or in the 1890s, and both of these uh, real people appear as fictional characters in uh, Catherine's book, and that's one of the 
one of the many joys of reading The Three Sisters Bar and Hotel. Thank you very much.